This community holds the distinct honor of being the first in the state to establish a public library by vote on April 2, 1872, after the state of Illinois passed the Free Library Act in March 1872. Much of the impetus for this act followed the Great Chicago Fire of 1871 and the gift of books from England. While this community was first to vote on establishing a public library in Illinois, the doors of our first library opened two years later in 1874. The Gail Borden Library has had nine library directors since its inception in 1874. All of them led the library through challenging times that affected the residents of Elgin. Changing to serve a changing community is a hallmark of the Gail Borden Public Library. Lewis Yarwood, 1874 to 1882, an artist, served as the first director overseeing the library's beginnings in 1874 on the third floor of the Home Bank Building where the Tower Building now stands. Cecil C. Hari, 1882 to 1903, expanded the library's collection from 2,000 to 14,000 books and relocated it twice. The library moved to the old Schofield Mansion on Spring Street in 1894. Gail Borden's stepsons donated the property with the stipulation that the library always be called Gail Borden Public Library. The Spring Street location was home to the library until 1968. Catherine L. Abbott, 1903 to 1943. Abbott guided the library through World War I, the Roaring Twenties, women's first votes, the Great Depression, and the onset of World War II. Under her leadership, two additions were built onto the Spring Street building and a separate children's space created in 1921. During the Depression, people depended on the library to provide books for entertainment as money was scarce. Thelma Sowers, 1944 to 1953, oversaw significant growth of the library's collection and circulation numbers with the collection growing to 90,000 books and a circulation of 245,000 the library served over 41,000 people. Ida G. Wilson, 1953 to 1961, introduced microfilmed copies of local newspapers and expanded the library's offerings, including LP records. There were 161,370 items borrowed in 1957. Bernard Oppenier, 1961 to 1962, for a short time, Gail Borden, Dundee, and Roselle Libraries worked together to bring bookmobile services to nearby townships. Edna Holland, 1962 to 1987, led the library through a period of modernization, overseeing the opening of a new building at 200 North Grove Avenue in 1968, and the introduction of new technologies and service, including the first automated circulation system and a new children's center with a climber. Daniel Zach, 1987 to 2004, oversaw further technological advancements, including the installation of self-checkout machines and the construction of a brand new 150,000 square foot building at 270 North Grove in 2003. Under Carol Meadows' leadership, 2004 to present, the library serves almost 150,000 people while continuing to innovate, adding many services, including passport processing, a dedicated Hispanic services group, hosting world-class exhibits, and opening the first branches, Reiko and South Elgin, and a bookmobile service. Gail Borden Public Library was awarded the highest honor conferred on an American library, the National Medal for Museum and Library Service, in 2009. The library also provides unique, vital community leadership, the 2020 Census and the Pandemic Assistance Team. The Library of 2024 looks a lot different than the Library of 1874. The Gail Borden Library remains the place that welcomes everyone, no matter age or culture or economic status. It's free to enter the doors to this place of respite, reading, and recreation. If you haven't visited us for a while, please do. We are waiting to welcome you, just as we did 150 years ago, and as we'll continue doing for the next 150 years.